In this video we're going to discuss privilege levels and when doing so we're going to make comparisons to other operating systems so that we can understand them better. So now your Cisco IOS just like most operating systems was designed with access control in mind. We can see that within the first mode within the command hierarchy which is exec mode. This mode has been further subdivided into two levels of access where we have user exec mode and privilege exec mode. User exec mode is assigned a privilege level of 1 by default, whereas every other mode within the command hierarchy is assigned a privilege level of 15. So now here's the thing we need to understand, is that our Cisco IOS isn't like our typical workstations operating system, where we go through an installation process and we define a user during that process, and then based on the type of user that we create, will define what privileges we have to access resources on the system. We don't go through an installation process with our iOS. We simply have an image file that gets loaded into RAM during the boot process. And then what we do as administrators when we get access to that iOS is we have to set those users up and then correlate them to a privilege level. So your privilege levels will be associated with particular objects on your Cisco IOS. Objects being like files and commands. So now we're going to see how we can verify the privileges associated with each level of access of exec mode. We're going to do this by executing the show privilege command. So we can see that user exec mode is associated with a privilege level of 1. Now if we execute the enable command to go to privilege exec mode and we execute the same command, we're going to see that that mode is associated with a privilege level of 15. So now once again, your modes are command containers. And when we're saying a mode is associated with a particular privilege level, what we really mean is that we're going to be executing the commands within that mode at that level. So now we're going to take a look at some commands that we can use when dealing with exec mode. Our enable and disable commands are going to be used to navigate between the different levels of access within exec mode and if we want to exit exec mode altogether then we're going to use this command. So these are the commands as well as the command descriptions that are provided by Cisco's help and we can see the true meaning of the enable command is to turn on privilege commands and the true meaning of the disable command is to turn them off. And again, this is how we're navigating between the different levels of access. So now let's test this out. So if you press enter, you're going to access the first level in exec mode. You execute the enable command to go to the second level. And if you execute the exit command, it's going to bounce you all the way out. So what we need to do when we're at the second level in order to go back to the first level is we need to execute the disable command. So now the last thing I want to discuss are these default privilege levels, their meaning, and how they influence the design of our indicator of mode on our Cisco IOS. So now if you look in Cisco's documentation, it's going to tell you that a privilege level 1, that this is going to correlate to a regular user or admin, and a level 15, well, this is going to correlate to a super user. Now, if you've ever worked in a Linux or Mac terminal and you went in as root, then this indicator of mode over here, well, this is going to start to make sense. So let me show you what I mean. So here I'm on Ubuntu Linux, and I'm in as a regular user. Now, who I am as a user can be seen on the prompt over here, and if you wanted to verify this inside the terminal, then you can just execute the who am I command. Now, if we log in as root, you're going to see exactly what I was talking about. So when you're accessing this shell with root privileges, you're going to be able to tell that by this pound sign over here. So if we compare this to the iOS, again, that makes sense. So you're going to see the same thing on a Mac. So now on a Mac, I'm going to open up a terminal and I'll execute the who am I command because you might not be able to tell based on the construction of the prompt over here. This is actually the user right here. And we can see that we're in as a regular user. That user is Gazelle. And then if we log in as root, you're going to see the same exact thing. 
So now what I'm also highlighting here is the importance of comparing systems because when you compare your systems, you're going to understand them a lot better. And here we're just kind of comparing, you know, we saw privileges, we're seeing root privileges, um, how we're presented with a pound sign that's kind of like an indicator. And then when we compare that to our iOS, it starts to make sense.